major decline in Asian stocks signals a systemic sell-off is just ahead. Let's talk about this. All right, so I want to take a quick minute to uh, share some thoughts. Uh, yesterday, I came across an interesting visual aid, and I posted it in the Telegram as well as in the Discord, and it has a lot to do with the possibility of a systemic sell-off weeks, maybe a month or two ahead. And this plays into all the things that I've been talking about over the last several weeks of possible events, looking for pieces of a puzzle, trying to put together a greater narrative to really understand what's going on. On top of the fact that the Federal Reserve, of course, is continuing to talk about taper and raising rates as if that's going to be a possibility. But I believe that's all the distraction to keep our eyes off of what's really happening. And a lot of it seems to be triggered right now in the Asian market. So I actually want to start off by reading some headlines. First one says China's COVID lockdown could have an economic cost to the world, says strategist. Second one says a new wave of Delta variant infections in China drives fresh lockdowns. The next one, millions under strict lockdown in China after COVID outbreak. And the last one, China triggers a one trillion market meltdown and it's just getting started. So right there we have four headline articles over the last week or two that hasn't gotten much attention in the mainstream narrative over here in the West just because we've been distracted with a variety of other things and of course the last week has been focused solely on what's happening in Afghanistan and as well as with the Taliban and all the Americans and whatnot still in that country and of course that is important I don't want to downplay that but remember everything that's being thrown away is a distraction to divert our attention off of what probably is worth focusing on but yet not what the mainstream media i.e. the deep state and all those globalists want us to focus on and so this visual aid I have on the screen right here as you guys can see it is the Asian versus global stocks and it's a wild divergence and so this was posted as I mentioned I shared this and I wanted to just share my two cents on it because I think it's extremely important because this could lead to a great buying opportunity in the days ahead but unfortunately it's also going to trigger the Federal Reserve to respond in ways that we were respecting basically going to open the monetary floodgates is what I'm getting at but as you guys can see on this chart right here back from 2013 onward both the MSCI AC Asia Pacific index as well as the MSCI world index have been working hand in hand in accordance to all the QE monetary policies the more than accommodative policies thrown out there by central banks of the world one thing that's noticeable from this visual aid here is the fact that the bar in red, which represents the MSCI Asia Pacific Index, which is a great indicator of about nine countries as well as about five or so emerging economies in the Asian region. And as of the 7th of February, there's been a consistent downward trend. And a lot of this has to do with the fact that we've been thrown this whole idea of a new variant or whatnot. And the fresh lockdowns has led to a closure of the economy, i.e., less business productivity and all the normal things that would occur in order to keep the economy open and booming but yet with more lockdowns it appears that the PBOC the China's bank is not able to really sustain things continuously so therefore there's a sell-off and as the article the last article I mentioned one trillion dollar basically went poof out of equities and of course nothing actually disappears it's just transferred into the hands of those who saw what's coming but the reason I wanted to make this video real quick is to basically say that if China is the first or second, some people debate depending on the growth of the economy, GDP, things like that, but if they're the first or second greatest economy on the planet, it's good to say that what happens in that region will eventually make its way over to this side. And as I've mentioned before, the goal is to try to keep the economy open over here as long as they can because there is no way they can pull off the complete objective of making sure everyone fully participates if there's going to be another lockdown. And so that's why I'm always talking about the fact that I think within the next few weeks or several months, there's going to be something that takes place. Who knows? But this could be another domino to fall. It happens to be with the idea of the stock market itself having a systemic sell off. And of course, if you follow Peter Schiff, Harry Dent, all those people, they tell you that they're anticipating a 70 to 80 percent correction anyway. And based upon what we saw last year off the U.S. economy going through a lockdown, there was a 30 percent or so dip in the equity markets with the oil futures going negative and everything that transpired from that. Could there be another event on the horizon? Based upon this graph here, I would assume so. It's just a matter of when. So the Federal Reserve clearly has to see this, but yet they're talking that positive talk or as to whether or not they're going to have a taper and flirting with the idea of raising rates as if that is any of those are actually possible. It's not. This is what could happen. Come September or October, 
the markets continue to experience pressure. And of course, over the last week or so, the U.S. indices had a lot of volatility. So could things be trickling over right now? Who knows? But the narrative of a recovery will definitely start heading down south if these markets continue to trend red. And God forbid there is a complete sell-off then what do you think the Federal Reserve will do? They're going to open up the floodgates like never before, and they're going to use the narrative, everything was going good, we were recovering, jobs numbers were down, we were heading back towards full recovery, everything was going back to normal, but yet, and that but yet will be the Asian market tanked. Something happened with China, da da da, da. So not only has the U.S., i.e. former President Trump, blamed Wuhan and China for this whole virus situation, but now there's a second catalyst possibly. If their market tanks, of course, they can say that the Chinese markets were manipulated, they didn't handle things correctly, and that's why it impacted our markets. We were on a recovery and all that stuff like that. And so they'll have another escape go. And it'll be easy to say, we need more accommodative policies. And of course, we got the debt ceiling. So right now with the debt ceiling coming up in September is gonna be on the table. It will be a no brainer to basically remove any hint at limiting the amount of debt that's going to be needed to aid a failing economy nevertheless onslaught to the markets that will definitely be there as well so what does all this mean basically so what does all this mean based upon last year when the economy shut down the markets tanked anticipate that again probably times three or times four because it's going to be a lot deeper more volatility like never before because they've already created six trillion dollars and this fake recovery that we're a part of is not really as strong as they might want us to believe and of course if you're in an alternative media space you definitely know what's really going on but then again majority of the population has no clue as to what's coming but my goal is to hopefully keep you guys informed with the possibility of things that might be occurring so what does that mean ultimately there's going to be another sell-off and so we've been talking about the price precious metals price and the fact that right now we're about 23 24 dollars it is possible that silver probably would drop. The spot price would probably drop down to the mid-teens or low-teens and also for the cryptocurrency space because Bitcoin and Ethereum correlates to the U.S. equity markets very well. So if the U.S. equity markets takes a dive, that means Bitcoin, Ethereum, all the other projects would take a dive. And what will be different this time is that the exchanges will definitely not be allowing people to buy the dip as well as the precious metal sector. I can see a point where bullion dealers as well as your local coin shops may not be willing to let silver and gold go for the actual spot price that we could see if there is another sell-off because as always when the equities drops people sell everything to try to cover up you know all those margin calls or whatnot so therefore we can see extreme lows in metals as well as extreme lows in cryptocurrencies but yet there not be an opportunity to actually buy the dip this time but as always you want to have some dry powder in my personal opinion on the sideline in case this opportunity presents itself because the result of this if it does tank you better believe the federal reserve will come out and open up the monetary floodgates that will pale in comparison to what they came up with last year as well as the united states treasury looking to also provide more stimulus checks qe and all that other stuff it, it's all going to be on the table this time so i just want to take a quick minute share this thought what do you think is there a possibility that this mild divergence of the Asian market from the US reality actually comes to a an halt and actually takes a dive. I believe it's possible, but I could be wrong. But it's just another thing to pay attention to because our attention has been scattered all across the world in different areas, but yet the financial realm is also what they're trying to cover up because it's coming down and it's coming down fast. But anyway, I can rant on forever. Just want to share my thoughts with people who think like me. Hit the thumbs up button, share this video with your family and friends so they'll have a chance to just assess this information. You know, believe it or not, it's on them, but yet they can't say they didn't know. But once again, once you know better, hopefully you do better. Hit the share button, share this, and I uh, look forward to bringing you guys more updates.